let's go play some tennis. So this is my friend Dimitri and we've been playing tennis on and off for like the past two summers and every time we've played I've been winning. No. <laughs> the last time we played I won. So technically I'm the better player. But we'll see today. But technically I'm the better player because I won last ten time. times. You, you lost nine. You don't care about who won the first World Cup. You care about who won the last World I'm Cup. Oh my, oh my goodness, I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake, let's play tennis live. This guy's trash. Easy game, came out with a win again. It's just what I do when I come out. <laughs> it's just what I do when I come out here, teach his guy to play some tennis. When you guys stop happy. It was a close game. It was a close game. It was close. Yeah, it was, it was, it was close. It was a close, close game. Close. I won the first game. First oh. set. So he won both sets. However, there were close sets. Six five and six four. Are you gonna repeat that? Nah. Tennis is all about um, skill, uh, passion, uh, and Yubi has uh, none of those. <laughs> <laughs> They don't feed you at home? That's crazy. That was funny the first time you said it. Okay, I had to get out of camera. <laughs> I'm bored. See, I've had a busy day, but as soon as I finish doing everything I planned and have nothing else left to do, I'm instantly just bored. I'm always looking for things to do or any sort of external stimulus so I could stay busy. But why am I afraid to stay bored? Being bored is okay. It's good, actually. We're so used to living in this world where we're always surrounded by constant stimulus. There's always something to do, something to watch, something to think about. We're so used to it that when we don't have those things, we feel bored. And for some reason, we try to fix that. Being bored is one of the best things that you can be. Now, I say this because it gives you the chance to think about your doubts or your fears or your successes or your goals. It really gives you a chance to reflect and to grow. Now, your brain may not actively be doing something intense, but it is doing something important. Now, I know that it's easier to say that being bored is good and that you should cherish it than to actually follow that advice because I don't even do that all the time. I feel like I'm always looking for the next thing that I should do to occupy my mind and to not be bored. But maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just sit in the boredom because who knows what I'll find.